Okie dokie, it's the 9th of April 2024 here at Tudor's Hill. It's about 3 o'clock in the afternoon, about 6 degrees. I'm just waiting to see. There's another band of pretty heavy showers heading our way, and that might be the beginning of it there. Let's see. There's a slight chance we might get some snow. There's been snow down at Jindabyne this morning, which is a lot lower than here, but it's just a question of whether the cold air will make it up as far as here, but it might. It's the uh, GFS model this morning was indicating about plus 2 850 temperature, which is not flash, but it's not too bad either. So we'll just see. A bit of snow at um, Berrydale this morning as well. It's actually, I haven't been up here for a couple of years. There's actually a couple of new, um, well, they're not new towers, well, the replacement towers, um, including this one, which is, I think it's a microwave relay between uh, Wim in Wollongong and Prime over at um, in Orange I should say I was going to say Bathurst but it's not Bathurst I won't swing around to the other one because there's actually guys working on it so I might get a bit upset if I point the camera in that direction but yeah you can see there's like bigger clouds. It's actually quite pleasant here at the moment with the sun out. Bit of a drive getting up here. Got stuck by two semi-trailers and then Janolan Gen Caves Road at Hampton. Between Hampton and Duckmoy Road it's just an absolute disaster. At least they're finally starting to work on getting that section of the road repaired. But but, yeah, so, we'll just see what happens. If I get really lucky, we might see a bit of snow. In fact, it could even be a few chunky wet flakes at Blackheath later tonight, because the heaviest moisture is actually later on, early evening. So, but yeah, it's actually quite, quite pleasant up here, for Shooter's Hill. <laughs> At Shooter's Hill, it's about 3.30, we've got a little bit of small hail just tinkering off the bonnet and the windscreen. So, can't see any sleet or snow, and it's not cold enough yet anyway, so. The car temps is six, but you know, it's probably five or five and a half. So in the next few hours, if we get lucky, the temperature drops enough. We might get a bit of sleet or wet snow or maybe even snow. Who knows? 